1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 3. And in this episode of our season with Matt Crafton's number 88 Menards Ford, we are going to be completing race 17 of 23, which is also the first race of the round of 8 in the playoffs at Canadian Tire for the Chevrolet Silverado 250. Now, this is a track, it's a road course, so we should be able of overcoming a lot of the AI drivers, at least finish in the top 5, and Las Vegas is after that in the playoffs. So we should be able to finish in the top five in that one because I think we finished like third or fourth whenever we ran there at the beginning of the season. But in the last episode, we went to Bristol Motor Speedway for the final race of the regular season. And I finished second place in the first stage, third place in the second one. And then apparently there were no mandatory pit stops. We had so much fuel that no one else wanted to take pit stops except for me, so I had fresher tires. And it was enough in advance for us to make our way all the way back to the field. We finished 13th. And, well, that was the end of the regular season. Could have been better, but still I just wanted to experiment and see what we could do. So, we're going to start with the playoffs in fourth place in front of Noah Gragson, who did win at Bristol. Great and finger made it in, so that's nice to see. But our main competitors in the playoffs should be John Hernimacek, Brett Moffitt, and Johnny Sauter. And I'll try to keep it in fourth place, get some good finishes in the next couple races. I should be able to win either Canadian Tire or Las Vegas. I don't know how good we're going to be at Canadian Tire as it is a road course, just because the AI have gotten improved at all the tracks, and especially road courses. They're more competitive there. It's probably the best road course AI in a NASCAR game since... Oh, NASCAR Thunder 2003, and this is even better than that just because they can actually take corners the way they're supposed to now. But uh, let's get out there and uh, run some qualifying. I really like the changes that they made to the lighting for this track in this game. I, mean, I liked racing here to begin with whenever I was playing NASCAR 8 too, but the lighting has improved by quite a bit, and I prefer that with a few tracks in this game, especially like Las Vegas. It's got They've got better sunset settings for tracks in this game. Uh, this corner is one of the ones that always tricks me, like I always overshoot it because I think it's that corner that's, you know, just like good 15 seconds away from where we are right now. You know, that really one that's actually much tighter. We're going down the hill right here. This turn that's coming up, I always seem to confuse the one that we just ran into uh, for this one right here, because this one is uh, it's just a little less off barrel time, if any at all. But uh, yeah, we're just using my first lap to warm up, and this one, I'm giving it all I got, trying not to overdrive corners and everything. Uh, from practice, whenever I ran here, whenever I was making the intro footage, I was using setup 5 and this truck was rather freaking tight. So, put it on setup 6 of this and the backing kicks out and I actually prefer this one much more. Now, with the AI, whenever I went to race while making the intro footage, they were pretty darn good and I don't know if it was because of me on setup 5, but now we're on setup 6, so hopefully it's, it's still good, but I should be better. Okay, this one right here, try to keep it on the inside as it come off because I need on the outside so I can dive into this final corner right here. Dropping on that curb a little bit. It's heading off into the grass. Golly, this truck, it just doesn't like those last two corners. Uh, that's where all the exciting passes make. Uh, that's not even the best lap I've run here. I've ran like a 121.5 previously, and I think that was on set at five, so I can do much better. But we're gonna be starting eighth, which is actually on the inside, believe it or not, because this game doesn't get the like the rows right for road courses whenever the first corner is a right turn. But Brett Moffat starting on the pole. That's not a good sight because, you know, we're racing against him in the playoffs, of course, but he is one of the best, so I'm expecting him to make it to the Final Four nonetheless. Who else we got in front of him? We got Grant Infinger, John Hernimacek, Johnny Sauter, and I don't know if there was anybody else in there that's starting in front of us. Noah Graxson and Todd Gillen are starting behind me, I guess. Okay, so, yeah, of course, it's a day race, though I would like to have some night road course races. So, is anybody in front of me failing the inspection stuff? Corbin Forrester is fast. That is awesome. And Brett Moffitt on the pole. I guess nobody failed the inspection. Dalton Sargent. I feel like I've seen him fail the technical inspection before. Or the optical scanning station, whatever it's called. So, we get to stay on the inside. We got two people over there. They're, they're making like a freaking third lane for some reason. You want to have a way to arc it in the first corner, so I don't know why they're doing that. Okay, get on the brakes. Ooh, sliding a little bit. I'm not even steering this much, but that's what it's doing. Okay, got our pass on Johnny Sauter. Trying to clear before we go into this corner up here. They're going to break early. Try not to run him over, and whenever I go through that fast in the corner when there's a right in front of me, it causes me to hit him. So I have to slow down, which makes me a bit looser, because whenever you're slower with a loose setup, you're going to be even looser than what you're expecting with your setup. Ooh, got tight through here. This is a corner that I sometimes ever drive, because, I don't know, I just have higher expectations for what my truck should do. Like, I feel like the truck should be able to turn better, but it's just what the physics ask for in this game. So I don't know about winning this stage. They might all right be in front of me, but these AI, they're, they're much better these days. Uh, I'm trying to pass Corbin Forrester like, faster, but he's in front of me, and that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it. Everybody else is getting away because he's being difficult. So, we're going to get fifth place right here as we get the run in fourth gear, I suppose. I think he shifted much earlier than us, and that's what it was. Justin Haley is getting to my inside pretty soon. 
Oh, golly, look at those guys pull away. Okay, we're going to catch them a little bit in this corner right here. I usually just start hitting the brakes whenever it starts redlining, because that's like the only way I can really benchmark myself for the corner. I don't know if there's a better way or what, but keep to the inside right here. Hitting that curve, not the safest thing, dude, can get you a little loose, but... Okay, we're good. God, we caught Ben Rhodes. He kind of dropped off the, the top three, so... We'll be able to dive underneath. We're going to turn one right here. I try to. Try to use the back end that kicks out sideways whenever we lose. Ah, uh, rubbed up against it, but nothing too risky. Okay, don't get on the brakes too late for this corner right here. Now, this one... Always... It's, there's so many quarters that I always misjudge, because I just feel like there's... Uh, just so much more speed that I can carry through them. It's just not like that. Grant and Finger holding it in third place. He started third, didn't he? Or somewhere around there. I gotta catch these guys. It's just I'm picking them off one by one rather than actually racing them like I like to. I hate it whenever NASCAR games do that. I've said it before. I don't like it whenever the game has me picking them off. And for some reason, it just did not want to turn right here. I didn't feel like I was going too fast in, but golly. Uh, looks like whoever this is the next end finger. I have no clue who it is. Uh, yeah, that's Brett Moffitt. I think that's an alternative paint scheme, because I don't recognize it, but yeah. Infinger and Moffat are just racing it out side by side. And try catching these next couple of corners. It is just a two-lap first stage. Probably the same thing for our second stage. Waited a little bit longer to get on the brakes. Going through this really wide corner right here. And it wasn't too bad. I'm trying to find out exactly how much I have to wait before I hit the brakes before going in there whenever red lines. A dive underneath Moffat. Yeah, that's a really different paint scheme. Red, black, and white. Okay, got ourselves third place. I don't think that was a smart idea, because that's going to put me on the outside of the next restart. But still, it was worth the extra stage point, I suppose. We need a lot of stage points and all kinds of advantages that we can get whenever we're in the playoffs. John Hunter Nemechek won the first stage, and damn, those front, the, all the tires, let's say the front tires, but those freaking tires, they just wore down immensely in that one stage. So it's definitely a pit stop race. Uh, we got seven laps remaining and four laps on fuel left, so that's for sure. Get out of here. Start the second stage of the race. Man, look at that paint scheme. I like that one. Brett Moffitt's got. Okay, well, Grand Finger, because he finished second in that stage, he's got the inside advantage at this restart, even though he's not supposed to. It's supposed to be up to the, the leader. So, dive underneath him. Take that position in, Finger. And because I'm right here, i got a bit of run that I can carry. It's just John Henry Mitch is going slow, and he's right in front of me. Can't even say the driver's names right. Going a little too fast right here, and... I'm hitting John Arnimacek because I want to go faster, and he's just in the way. I can't do anything. Ugh, damn these games. Okay, well, let's just not choke everything away. I have a freaking proneness to choking at this track. Like, I'm good at it whenever I'm not choking, and uh, I don't want to have a problem just not choking here. Well, Grant and Finger's just taking that lead and trying to get away with it. Not the best thing because he's behind me in the points, and if he locks himself in, that's making it much harder for me to get myself in there just because he's one of the less performing drivers. But, I mean, still, he's my teammate, and I want him to succeed. He just something that we all want. Look at us. 98 and 88. Both running 1 and 2. That is amazing. Golly, Grand Fingers is pulling away. Uh, maybe I'll catch him in the next few corners. Yeah, I've been catching in Finger here and there and going to a corner. It's just off he has some acceleration because I guess I'm not getting on the throttle in time. And probably the reason why is because he has a wider entry for corners, meaning that I have to I have to do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to be heading off the freaking track and into the grass and stuff. I mean, I'm 0.7 seconds. I think a while ago it was like 1.2 or 1.3. Not sure the exact amount, but yeah, he's carrying more speed right now. Like, he went from 0.7 to 0.8. Okay, let's try closing in right here. And the brakes a little bit later. There we go. Try carrying our speed right here. Golly, you're going so freaking fast. This is dangerous. Trying to get that stage win. Oh, good lord, look at me slide in there. No, no, no. Damn it, it hung my steering. It just freaking hung it. Like, I wasn't steering anymore, but it kept on doing it. Ugh, that's what you get with loose setups, like, you're going so fast and you let out the throttle and then it's like it just doesn't want to stop steering. That was going to be a really close finish for the freaking stage, but still, we got a race to go, but, I mean, good for you, Grand Finger, you put up a fight, I mean, you won that fair and square, but, I, I probably could have made that pass actually happen if it just had not hung that steering to the left, like, it, it wasn't steering anymore, but that's what it did, it does that sometimes. Okay, so, everybody's pitting after the second stage is complete, or... 23 people are. I don't know what all these guys in the back are doing. Well, I'm going to pit because I have a brain. Hopefully that means something to this game. I'm not repairing my damage. That would be silly. we only going to need uh, one can of fuel. Though I think half the game would take us to the end because we're going to be skipping laps under the caution or something. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go with one can because I think that's a smart thing. 
We only need right side tires because it's a road course. We should be fine on just two tires. Okay, well, we lost 11 positions, so we actually did lose our positions to everybody that pitted, but still, a bunch of people that decide not to pit are in front of us right now. So, in all reality, I think we only lost, like, yeah, like three or four positions is because of all those people that decide not to pit for whatever reason. And Haley Deegan is one of them. I saw that. She's in freaking last place, and she didn't pit. So now Haley Deegan is in front of us. Weird. So are they going to pit under the green flag, or are we going to have some bullshit and them just not pit at all? Because I hate that crap. Either way, we should be faster than every single driver on this track that decided not to pit because we have fresher tires and, uh, well, they are all the way at the back of the field. I'm trying not to run over these people. I'm faster than them, but, uh, just threading the needle, making it free wide at a road course. I'm faster than them. I gotta go. Gotta go. Anthony Alfredo, there's, there's Haley Deegan, like I said. I'm trying to get up front before it's too late. I don't know. Oh, God, I'm on the brakes way too freaking late. Oh, please don't spin 51. I, I can't see my freaking corner. And that's the caution they're waiting for. So all these guys that didn't pit pitting? No? Okay. I don't mean to run people over, but I don't know where the turn... I just threw my glasses off my face. I don't know where the turn is because there's just nothing but trucks in front of me. Ugh, it's just too much shit to focus on. What the hell is my truck doing right now? Okay, well, I already took my pits off. I'm not pitting. Okay, well, third place. It's on the outside, but still, we got these two in front of me. Chase Purdy and Dalton Sargent. Dalton Sargent failed the optical scanning station or whatever the hell it was before the race. And Chase Purdy sucks. So, I'm going to win this race. Well, I can win this race. I'm not going to say that I'm going to win this race. Is that, that I don't want to just jinx it or anything like that. Let's just take it on the outside of Dalton Sargent right here. Golly, I get on the brakes so much later than they do, and I make it stick. It goes to show like where these drivers actually belong in the freaking field. Why didn't they just take their pit stops like they were supposed to instead of making things weirdly interesting? They're going to be pitting towards the end of the freaking race now. How many laps we got left? Oh, we green white checkered just because, you know, the stages are shorter and everything, even in the final one just to get this road course. Well, I got the lead. Go ahead and win my way <laughs> into the round of six just because of some weird strategy they all pulled. A caution has occurred after the leader crossed the line. I mean, I might as well show that part just before it happened. But Brad Moffitt, he was chasing me down a little bit. He was 1.2 seconds, and then a few corners later, he was 0 0.6 seconds. And then all, like, all of a sudden, I saw his, like, his number, his interval, start dropping immensely. Then the caution came out, and the race ended. So we got our win. It could have been interesting. Like, you know, Brett Moffitt could have dove past me in the final corner. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know if, like, I, I sucked that much that so I could just let AI do that to me in the final corner of a race. But, huh. Hey, whenever races ran like that, at least the caution came out and ended the race instead of giving us another restart. It, it didn't take it away from me like it happened at Texas. Like, this actually plays by the rules. I mean, I thought Brett Moffat would be passing John Hunter Nemechek in the points, but instead he's just one point behind him. And because of our performance in that race, we're now just three points behind Nemechek and two behind Brett Moffat. But still, we should be locked into the playoffs just fine, but there's no freaking option for that in here like I press the options button but nothing's showing up is there some other screen here I should know about because I'm not seeing anything but I'll see you guys next weekend whenever we go to Las Vegas for the world of Westgate 200 I have no idea what that is I see a little rope in the logo is like a, a rodeo thing I don't know see you next time that's that and episode over